the uh, Anna Winter of agents. No, you're not. This is Darren, my gay assistant. Every Aussie girl's got to have one, right? I tried finding an Aussie fag, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack here. No offense taken. We're always like this, bend to back and forth. Is that you ringing? Yeah, I rang so you didn't have to come through. Oh, okay, I'll just answer it. No, you don't have to answer it. You're standing right in front of me. So I'll leave it? Forget the phone. Did you pick up my Starbucks? It's in the fridge. Why is it in the fridge? She said it was too hot yesterday, so she put it in there. Do you want me to get it? Will you go and get me a fresh one, please? Unfucking-believable. Rolling. I was once in a very big TV show in Australia. Um, you'll probably know it instantly as soon as I say it. I was in the TV show called Neighbours. Well, there was a lot of big celebrities that were in the show. Um, Kylie Minogue, Holly Valance. Ella Fisher. Yeah, Isla. Margot Robbie. Um, I don't think she was in Neighbours. Yeah, that's where she got a big break. Oh, she is huge now. I think that she's amazing. Don't you have some work to be doing? <laughs> Every agent dreads this moment, but unfortunately it's got to be done. I have no idea how she's going to react, but we'll have to wait and see. Sally's been with us, what, for two years now? Eight months. Really? Sally's arrived. Should I send her through or should I make her wait? Send her through? Hi, Hi, how are you? Yeah. You look great. Did you get your hair done? Yeah, yeah, last weekend. I love it. Darren, doesn't her hair look fantastic? Oh, Ashley, um, I also have new headshots. Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we take a seat? Okay. All right. I hope you haven't come too far. Oh, well, actually, I was in Florida and I flew in last night, but Cindy said it was urgent. Well, she shouldn't have said that. Um, the thing is, Sally, um, I have tried everything, but the problem is no one's interested. What do you mean? Uh, how do I put this? Um, okay. You, you're like a piece of cheese with a past sell by date. People stop and they take a look, but they think, nah, I don't want the old cheese. I want the new cheese. The piece that's just been put out on the shelf. Do you understand now? But what about my new hair? I don't think the hair's the problem, Sally. Well, maybe you're just not sending me out on the right rolls. I can't magic up jobs for my clients. I can only work with what I've got and will. <laughs> Cindy, can you give me some tissues, please? <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me on the phone? It would have saved some time. I know this is hard. My father is dying. Um. Good news, Sally. Um, you passed the test. What? I, I thought you'd lost your passion, but you're here begging for your life. This is powerful and I feel it. I am so confused. I'm so glad we had this chat. Um, Darren, can you put Sally back on the website? Sally, leave your headshots with me. I'm back in the book. Damn right you are. Uh, Cindy, can you show Sally out, please? <sighs> Thank you so much. Right. Yes! Did you, did you see that? Did you see how much she wanted that? That is the difference between a star and just another actor. Alright? 